So welcome guys. In this tutorial we will be creating some low poly water as you can see in the background. This tutorial is based on Thin Matrix tutorial and adapted into Godot. I'm sure you've heard of him and if not you should definitely go check him out. He's an awesome YouTuber and creator. I'll put the link in the description below. I also want to give credit to Bastian Olic, I'm sorry for mispronouncing your name there for the depth buffer effect as well. But anyways, let's get started. So we'll start by creating a spatial node as the root and we rename it to world. We then create a mesh instance object and we give it a plane mesh and we set the size 100 for the x-axis and 100 for the y-axis. We also need to subdivide the width and depth by 50. So this gives us this low poly effect. We also change the perspective to display wireframes so we can see all the polygons that, that the water will have. So we give the mesh instance a new shader material and we add a new shader to the material. So for the shader type, this will be a spatial and we also save our scene by pressing Ctrl S. We'll start by creating a uniform variable for the output color and we then create the vertex function and the fragment function. We also pass the out color to the albedo and let's change the display back to normal. And we can now adjust the color from within the editor. So let's give it this nice tropical blue. And back in the shader we need to calculate the normal in the fragment function. And I'll also give the metallic, specular and roughness some values. So back in the vertex function we need to apply a distortion for each vertex in the mesh. So we then create a function and call it apply distortion that takes the vertex and the time as parameters. So this function also needs another function called generate offset that will randomize each vertex x, y and z value. And as you can see we're now getting closer to getting this awesome cool looking low poly water. So as you can see I've hard coded the amount variable in the generate offset function. So let's make this variable a uniform variable instead so we can modify it from within the editor. So now if we adjust the amount variable you get different results on the water. But I found out that 0 0.8 worked the best for me. And now for the final thing is to make the water transparent using the depth buffer. So we'll start by creating a mesh instance and give this mesh instance a cube mesh. We'll adjust the size of the cube and as you can see, the water is not transparent at all. So let's head back to the shader and we will create a new uniform variable called beer factor. And by applying the following code in the fragment function, we get this nice transparent water using the depth buffer. I would lie if I said that I understood the math behind this, but I don't. But it works. And as a result, the water gets a lot more realistic. Let's adjust the height of the mesh instance. And as you can see, the further down the object goes, the less visible it is. 
let's give the object another color so let's head over to the shader param and adjust the beer factor to around 0.1 the lower the value the clearer the water will be and vice versa and that is it so by combining the terrain from my previous tutorial with the newly created water and give the scene some environment and lighting and stuff you get this nice cool looking result don't forget to subscribe and like the video and until next time peace out